Guys, good afternoon. Uh, my name's Julian Stoneman, and I'm your patron at Bricked in Brighton. I want to introduce you to one of our stars of a musical that opened this year here in the West End, which performed last year, which won Best Musical. And this is Giovanni Spano. The reason why I wanted to bring Gio into this video today with you is that Gio is not only one of the best performers in the West End, he also has his own rock group and he also is a solo performer outside the West End. And because of the way that Brick is put together, it means that we are facilitating through your school in Brighton, numerous ways of working with talented people like Giovanni. And Gio, this show that you're doing Mm, I wonder what it's called. <laughs> yeah. mm. um, how long have you now been a part of this? Well, I first auditioned for this show in May 2016, and um, I was told about it by a guy called Ollie Thompson. Some of you may know him. He's a super talented performer, also a West End star, and, yes. and you've worked with him also, like many uh, others. Um, and yeah, I first heard about it through him, and he said, you must audition for it, because I was already in my band. Um, and he said, yeah, go along, you know, you've got a big voice, you're a rock singer, and this sounds like you on the piece of paper. So I went along and I fell in love with the piece straight away. And yeah, so I've been involved with it since May 2016. Then we did some promotion in October 2016. And then from then onwards, it's just been a dream come true. You know, Bad Out of Hell has been one ride after another. And uh, but, yeah, I've loved it. But as an actor, as yeah. a male actor in the West End, yeah. we know that it's very hard to find great male actors and who are what we call triple threats and yeah. you are a triple threat and I think it's important that we get across today to the guys that in the end you need to be good at more than one thing wouldn't absolutely, you say these absolutely. days absolutely this show more so than any other um, you are asked and you are pushed to your limit in uh, every every uh, genre of acting and performing you know uh, we dance we, we dance our socks off throughout the whole entire show we you know it's high energy high octane but bombastic. I would say wouldn't you that not everyone would da dancing is their number one some are probably better singers Yep, yep, but absolutely. they have to have the facility of being able to act, sing and dance to a degree. And of course, this is the West End, so this is the best of the best. I would like to think it's the oh, best absolutely. of the best. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And I, you know, I'm thrilled to be on stage with the performers that I'm on stage with every single night. They're outstanding and they drive me to push myself on. And over the last two years, I've grown as a performer and, uh, and I've been in the West End for the last 15 years. So, um, yeah, this show has really pushed me on and I feel like I've grown as a performer. But no, it was always imperative to me to make sure that I was a Swiss Army, a Swiss Army knife that I was able to do everything, you know, anything that was put before me, I could, I could take it on and I could mould myself or adapt myself to being able to do that. And, you know, p before this, I was doing Guys and Dolls, which is completely different. Like, it's the other end of the spectrum for Bad Out of Hell. You know, Bad Out of Hell is contemporary. You move your body in a certain sort of way. It's very organic, very tribal, whereas Guys and Dolls was, uh, you know, Carlos Acosta and Andrew Wright which is a very different type of choreography. Uh, your vocals were very, very different. Um, and so, yeah, yeah, it was just imperative to me to make sure that I was able to do every style of singing, every style of dance, every style of acting as well. And all are as important as one another to me. Um, you know, and I enjoy every single one as well. I wouldn't say that well, I was the best dancer in time. the world, but um, you know, it was important to me to bring my dancing up to the level of my singing and my acting. And the fact that I can do that makes me enjoy my job a hell of a lot more. So what would you say to a Brick student that is now going into the first year? I'm going to leave this to you and I'm going to walk out of this right. so I can do a face straight to you. First of all, first of all, I'd like to say, well done, you've made it, you've done the hard part, you've got there. Now, now the hard part is for you to make the decision of what you're going to do next. Now, if you're a good singer, or if you're a good dancer, if you're a good actor, 
you want you want to be that triple threat. You want to mold yourself into this performer that is uh, irrepressible, that no one can challenge. You want to be the best that you could possibly be for in here and out there as well, anybody who's going to watch you. So if you're a good dancer, let's say, and you don't think your singing is quite as good, you want to bring that up to the level here. But always have drive, always have passion, always enjoy, enjoy what you are doing. Because if you're not, then there's no point. Okay, and the main thing about performing on the West End and live theatre is the fact that I enjoy it every single night. It's it. It's like a, a drug to me. It's euphoric. It's absolutely wonderful. So keep going. Push yourself. Push yourself to some limits that you don't think you could possibly go to because you would surprise yourself. And uh, rock on. Be amazing. You're a legend. Well done.